I'm sure that the beginning of December carries a lot of weight in your mind. And I just wanted to know from you, what are your feelings at this time of year? Although many years have passed, I'm sure it's a lot of the same for you. So t describe to me, you know, leading up to the anniversary. Strangely, it's not always the same. It, it depends on what happens, what is the actuality and the way I feel more personally. And for a strange reason, this year, um, I, I'm, I'm less uh, pessimistic than I thought I would have been considering the context we have because um, I am really um, amazed by the, uh, the rising of the consciousness of people around me for those two uh, so uh, important uh, subjects that are uh, gun violence first and uh, the, uh, the, the difficulty to, uh, for the, the violence against women. And so for, for that reason, um, I think uh, I feel hope. I don't feel as lonely as I've been in the past years. So I'm, um, I'm really recognizing to feel that awareness, that consciousness about the importance of those uh, the involvement in the fight against uh, violence against women and for a better gun control. 18 femicides this year. It's as if nothing changed from December 6, 1989. What do you say to that? It's as if, although you say we evolved, this is still an issue that's rampant. Women being killed because they are women. So what do you say? I say that when the world is difficult, when the, um, the economic situation is difficult, when we are more individualistic, when uh, we are anxious for any kind of situation, and now we are climate anxious, I don't know if it's the, the exact word in English, uh, we, we tend to, um, to, 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 in French, I would say, um, to, uh, in French, I would say, on est crispé. We are more rigid. And when we are rigid, our, 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 our strategy, our human strategy is to close ourselves. And we, in a way, the, the 2020, 21, 22 era, there's some similarities with the difficulties we had in 1988, 1989. 19, the economy was not easy in 1988, 1989. I know I finished my bachelor degree and I was an engineer and it was tough to find a job even as an engineer. And not just for me being a woman, for any kind of engineers, it was difficult. Imagine at that time, if you were uh, a colored person, or I was a minority as a woman in engineering, or even a, an indigenous people, or native, I don't know what's the exact word I, I should have used now, but uh, imagine how tough it was, if even for me it was tough. So... So what happened in 1989 happened in a, in a difficult context. So maybe that's what's happening now. The, the pandemic was tough on us. Um, the impact of climate change will be tough on us and we're, we're not out of it. So we have to find ways to live together. It was true 20, 32 years ago and it is still very important. We won't be able to reduce the number of feminicide, to reduce the number of massive uh, of um, mass, mass shootings. Shooting. Thank you. Sorry. Uh, we won't be able to reduce the numbers of that kind of event if we don't find ways to reduce the inequities, the, 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 les inégalités. What is your message this anniversary? Because of course, every year is hard. 
And then this year, we add in the pandemic, we add in the 18 femicides, we add in the gun violence in Montreal for different reasons. What is your message on this anniversary of how to move forward? My classmates deserve that we stand up and engage in the, those social conversation, each of us, not just a few. We don't have to take those things for granted. Our safety doesn't have to be taken for granted. The uh, egalité between men and women doesn't, cannot be taken for granted. Those situations can go back over, uh, backwards. So, in a word, engage in the conversation, stand up, say, share, uh, communicate, inform yourself. We have to be open. We have to be transparent. We have to have a very a real discussion about those things and understand each other. I really, really believe that um, Mark Lepin, he was in a total disarray and he also need compassion when we think about that. It is not less guilty of what he did, but if we want to stop those kind of event, we have also to hear what they have to say and find ways to calm their, um, their, uh, their fears, their drama, their... It's our, all our responsibilities.